visible signs of fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What in the hell? Hmm. Oh, shit. Ugh. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. In Japan, 99.9% .9 of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, Someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. Sucks. How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Keiko chan's losing her mind. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? <laughs> Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. Wait a damn minute! How does that even solve this problem then, man? Um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, How'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <sighs> That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. Kosuke-kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, I think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry, even his eating habits. Say, Keiko-chan, how'd a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date? <laughs> Sounds like a real catch. He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. 
Then he sticks his own girl with the bill? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe it. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, with 400 still to go, for a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Got this girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen, Kiko-chan. I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself, there's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. <gasps> Kosuke-kun! I'm gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Hopefully we'll get this all cleared up. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there, Todd. Talk, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Kaido-san, please. I can tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. Be careful here. Kaito san, you made contact with a new face. I'm gonna get a shot as evidence. Good call.
Kajo-san, I just sent that photo to your father. Any sage advice? Yeah, I see it. Did the perfect shot, buddy. So, who's Kosuke's new friend? Any ideas? That's what I'm gonna try and find out. I'll be in touch. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura-chan. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke-senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But senpai, while we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah? I wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? Off Duh, did I delete that app? Guess it's okay. Hey, wait a sec. That's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Aniki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy! Anaki got so pissed, he took it out on us! Still fucking sore about it! Yo! Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro! Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it?
Get more cash. Guess I'll stop by the Popo. Kaito-san, I just sent you a new shot. Take a look. Yeah, I see it. Not half bad. Huh? What the...? Yo, talk. Be real with me. Kosuke's guilty as all hell, right? That's way too much money to just cruise around with. A withdrawal for any amount wouldn't prove anything. Gotta be fair here. right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so. That's why. Now beat it. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was a look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye.
What the? That's gonna work. Suspicious.
there, buddy? Uh, kinda hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now, but everything's under control. Oh, uh, hey guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Hey, who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm, uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, uh, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind, uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. <laughs> Should've known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Kosuke give you a card? Uh, he should have? Shoot, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> That's so. Well, now we got a problem. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass! We don't carry cards here! Now who the hell are you, and how'd you get in? Better start talking! Ugh, here we go. Tell me, what's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? We're not telling you shit!
Nah, you good? What's going on? I'm still in that building with Kosuke-kun. Had a little run-in with some watchdogs. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh. Not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. I said we have an intruder! I don't know how he got in! Say what? <laughs> what happened? You there? Tell me something, Tak. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught, unless you want to fight on your hands. Believe me, I don't. All right, let's go. Got a minute? I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay.
All right. Almost there. Perfect. I see now. Just stand there. Shut the door already. Come on, I had you! Ah! Why does this always happen? Come on, folks, who wants another round? Everyone place their bets? Now or never! You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up! Huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you, uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but... I got me a pretty good hustle. <laughs> Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keep any of the secrets on you. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Cause I say we cut to the chase, and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College boy's about to learn something they don't teach in class.
Hey, man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere? Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. If name-dropping a long-dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a... Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! No more chances! The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. So, I can take the gloves off too, right? For real right now? Well, I pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. You're going down. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Yoshiro-san! Over here! Please, you gotta help me! Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden! He did? Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? That a tatami room term for gambling addict? <laughs> gambling? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. It's too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! wasn't supposed to happen. Now you're really asking for it. Leave me alone! Hold up.
Come on, Kosuke kun. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tom? For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. <laughs> a, a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke-kun? Huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Con you! Believe me, I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko chan? Uh, well, My name is Keiko, you jerk! And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Tak. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would ya? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof! Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you little shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's a name, smart guy, huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you never heard of us! Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. There... Yo. Know. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up! That money's as good as gone! The guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan! I wasn't lying when I said he's Yakuza! Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You... Really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex-Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? Uh. Yo. What's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you, uh, find yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> not exactly. No? Why, well, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, 
that simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap lab. <laughs> right, sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait, why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen uh, the light. <laughs> no! That's enough out of you. Come on. Let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <laughs> Okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. It's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Genda Sensei's office is just up ahead. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. The Genda Sensei... Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko-san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. So you want me to stay here until things calm down? You sure that's safe? Yeah, we'll be back before you know it. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saurikun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's... Not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. 
It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like that'll do him any good. straight in court, please. <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. leave an impression. Huh. Well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty as charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but Hoshino Kuhn insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Sauri Kuhn's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean, he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the forest, anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Kamuro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. Shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. A 
Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. This the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. No, oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? Oh, could he choose a worse fucking time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well... Got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo-kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. No, oh, and by Tsukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all set? Huh. Then let's roll. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's... Uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There! You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane ah. myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him, then forks over the family safe? <laughs> yeah. Now you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here! Come on now, don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. Yeah. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Now, this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. 
You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Greetings, Yagamishi. Did Sugiyoroshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Tsukumoto, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiyoroshi and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company. I mean, any responsible member of society. It's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right, uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me! Yeah, pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat! Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Kiko Chan. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito san. Apparently, that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Saori-san and Hoshino-kun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? 
Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All right. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense? Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... Huh? How's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Tog. <laughs> Wait, you serious? This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down.
Treasure Souls. Really, guys? Let's hit it. This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. 
But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. Guess we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. Sweet. See you guys soon, then. Sugira said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. I'm not